Jessica, why do we need 15 bucks an hour? I mean, these people need to earn enough money to survive. And what they're getting right now is just not doing the job. So that's really what it's about. The unions have a motive to make sure that employees are getting decent wages, that they have decent benefits. They are fighting for the workers. We say, don't leave anybody out. Don't cut anybody out. A wage raise for all workers. Don't leave anybody out. Don't cut anybody out. Big labor accused of big hypocrisy. The same union leaders demanding a $15 an hour minimum wage law now want an exemption for companies with union members. So do as unions say, not as unions do. A classic bait and switch on the West Coast. Last week, Los Angeles labor leaders helped push a minimum wage hike through the city council. Now, the Los Angeles Times reports the Federation of Labor wants all companies with unionized workers to be exempt from the $15 an hour mandate. Literally within days of getting their law through, they say, by the way, if you're a business and you hire union workers, we want you exempt. It's a real surprise that in the 11th hour, Labor was saying, well, we basically support a sub-minimum wage if a company uh, decides to enter into collective bargaining. And that really is a complete contradiction to what they've been saying for the last several months. How can you go out and say, and, gee, I'm for a $15 an hour that's a raise from $10 to $15 an hour, and then turn right around and say, oh, I want my people to be exempt from that. Some people have an issue with the hypocrisy. The local Chamber of Commerce says the change could pressure companies to unionize just to dodge the wage hike. I mean, the union's goal here <laughs> is to hurt non-union businesses. They can't compete in that free market, so they use government guns, which is exactly what all these exemptions and minimum wages are, to shut down non-union businesses. This is cronyism by any other name. This is shameless, and this is exactly how the unions work. They don't care about the worker. They care about making money. They care about getting money from their members so they want as many members as possible and they want to make um, unions basically the cheapest labor and uh, have more money for themselves that's what this is all about this is all by the union leaders the union leaders want this because it enhances their power they're trying to get more members they're not trying to better the workers plight it's hypocrisy at its worst union bosses and unions could care less about the worker they came care more about filling their own coffers and that's been very clear throughout the this whole orchestrated arbitrary movement. We say, don't leave anybody out. Don't cut anybody out. A wage raise for all workers. Once again, the soaring rhetoric of helping the working poor is just a cover of organized labor.